here that holds it on. And you're gonna jet very carefully, very carefully pull them up. I've this has already been removed. I'm just I just put it back on loosely so I can show you guys. It's gonna require a little more effort to pull it up, but very carefully pull it up because you don't want to break these clips. You know, these clips. I don't think you're gonna be able to replace them. So you move that. And you have these felt pieces here. What they're supposed to do is when your window is up like this, it's supposed to push the window in and against these felt pieces here that are held on by these clips. But after 24, 25 years, they get really squished down and not so useful. So what I'm gonna do what I've done is I've made a mark here and a mark there with a paint marker indicating the sides, the edges of that felt piece. And I've done the same thing on this side. What I'm going to do is take some duct tape, tear it, and add a few layers here and here, here and there. So that way I can bring out the felt pieces and push them in to push the glass against the felt here. Therefore, pushing my window into the weather stripping, which helps seal it properly, and removing the play. So we'll see how that goes and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, if you're like me, the door squeaks whenever you uh, Hit a bump when you're driving or whatnot. You know, kind of like this. See if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that squeak or not, but uh, there's a squeak. If you're like me, you got that problem and it's annoying, here's what you can do. When you take off your door panel, there's these little black pins. Here, see if my camera will focus. Little black pins. You know, there's blue ones too. But with the black ones, what you can do, you've seen I've done it already, put a little bit of duct tape on it. A little bit of duct tape on it. So that way, when you push them back into the door, it seals properly again. It grabs on, it has something to bite onto. Because these become worn out over time and the vibrations of driving every day. So you just put a little bit of duct tape, really quick fix. And um, if it's not too bad, it'll actually hold up for quite a while. I mean, mine hold up for about about a month or two but the roads here really suck so it vibrates loose really quickly so uh, yeah. yeah just wanted a little pointer yeah duct tape between duct tape and JB Weld you can fix anything all right all right guys here's uh, something figured out if you need to move the window in, there are these, these these bolts here, right? They look like just regular bolts, but in the center, see if I can get it, in the center of them is actually an Allen uh, wrench. It's an Allen key type deal. So it's an Allen bolt with a nut. So what you do, and these are attached to your guides, okay? Goes up, there's two over here on this side. One here, one here. Come down over here a bit. Here and here. And there's one over here. So, there you go. You can see it now. And that kind of adjusts this part. That's what it's attached to. To this whole light. I mean, this whole mirror shit and the triangle thing. So, that's where that's for. Use two for the guides for the window. These two for the guys for the window. What you do is you loosen up the bolts, or the, the nuts, I should say, I'm sorry. You loosen up the, no, the nuts, and then you tighten. You now you go that way. You tighten the Allen keys, and that'll pull your window in if uh, you're having a lot of wind noise. Unfortunately for me, my felt right here, 
were pushing all the way, were pushing against the window and they were seated all the way in. So what I did, me and a buddy, make sure you have two people, makes things easier. We dropped the window and got a pair of channel locks and, and squished the felts. And there's a, they're backed by a little metal piece. So it's a piece of felt on some metal. So you bend the metal back and you pinch it put your window back together and uh, yeah then you can adjust your your guides and they'll pull the window in and I'll show you just put this back on temporarily Let me see, I wasn't sure if you guys were able to see it in the last video or not but um, my gap that I had here completely gone no gaps anywhere anymore I do have a bit of window wobble still but let's see if uh, putting on my door panel helps support it but it's nowhere near as bad so uh, now I'll get back to you guys all right guys uh, I uh, I put black gasket seal that's what I was here's what I was using so Ultra Black, by right, Permatex, Ultra Black, Maximum Oil Resistance RTV Silicone Gasket Maker. Works good. It's black, just like the factory stuff. And you just put it around the edges of where the old seal was. And that's all you do for that. And you lay the plastic liner down and everything. All right. Now that you have duct tape on those little... Um, little knobby things, can't remember what they're called right now. Um, you're gonna have to tap the the door panels in because it's gonna be really tight now since they're really grabbing. So what I did, I got little mallet, little baby mallet, see? Not even bigger than my hand, little baby mallet. And you just tap along where they're at and they're usually like right, right along the edges. You just tap them in. Going at the bottom and everything, just go all the all the way around the perimeter of the door, except for the top. There's really nothing on the top, but you can do the top too if you want. Just be careful so you don't damage that particle board, the backing. You just go over and just take care of all that, you know, all around here. And uh, that's how you tap it in. Then you put in your screws and all your little fitments, and you put it all back together. Yeah, uh, that's how it goes. Alright guys, well I put my door panel back on, all the way, it's all screwed on, bolted on, everything. And unfortunately, the door panel puts just enough pressure to push the window back out. Now I got my gap again. It's a smaller gap, but it's still there. But the upside solves one problem. It doesn't really move anymore. Okay. My, the play in the window is almost all gone. Maybe about half a millimeter each way. So, that got fixed. Nothing else, really. Um, but hopefully, sealed up the... It's close enough now where I won't get as much wind noise. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, see if maybe later on down the road if we can come up with a better solution. Or maybe one of you guys have a something to add but uh yeah that's where i'm at all right